Good morning, beloved of God. Shalom Alechem. Peace be unto you. It's amazing having your space again on this platform, Destiny Voyagers. My name is Ebifa Woku. Beloved, obedience brings you to your real design. It enables you to bring all of your being for human beings to contact with. It makes you offer human beings an experience of your difference. The Bible says, just through the obedience of one man, many will be made righteous. Romans chapter 5, 19b. Beloved, on a daily basis, you are offering people an experience of your difference. This world will not recognize you, reward you for your similarities. You will never be advanced, recognized, given power, rewarded for similarities. You will be rewarded for your difference. Therefore, three things today. Number one, obey direction. Moses was asked to go to Pharaoh so that he may bring the people out of Egypt. Exodus 3 verse 10. This specific direction made the difference for him. He showed himself as one that will carry God's word. You too can do the same. Number two, be unique. The Bible says, before I formed you in the womb, you have been set apart, appointed in your uniqueness. Jeremiah 1 verse 5. Number three and finally, offer difference. When you do what the word says, you offer difference. James chapter 1 verse 22. So this morning we want to ask ourselves the question, who is on the Lord's side? May God bless us as we sing together. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Who is on the Lord's side? Who will serve the King? Who will be his helpers? All the lives to bring Who will leave the world's side Who will face the foe Who is on the Lord's side Who for him will go By thy call of mercy By thy grace divine we are on the lord's side savior we are thine jesus thou hast brought us not with gold or gem but with thine own life blood for thy dire death with thy blessing feeling each who comes to thee thou hast made us willing thou hast made us free by thy grand redemption by the grace divine we are on the Lord's side, Savior, we are thine. Beloved, until I connect with you tomorrow, may God's blessings rest on you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.